Hi, I'm Scott, the Miniature Maniac, and today we're gonna to talk about what we accomplished in 2017. What up, Mini Family? This video is basically the video that everyone dreads when they watch their favorite show. It's like, oh, it's the one where they kind of cop out and basically just do highlights from everything else. But as, as an apology for doing something similar to that, I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video to kind of sweeten the deal, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, let's take a moment to look at what was most successful across my various social media accounts and also to talk about other things that the channel accomplished in 2017. Let's kick it off with the most popular video, which was won by a landslide victory about how to not look like a pleb. That one was phenomenal and I really want to thank everyone who was involved with making that as big as it was from sharing the videos with your friends to liking the video to uh, just, just to viewing it as well. That was really awesome. Thanks for doing that and thanks for getting that such a high number which is at something like 110,000 which is crazy. That's like twice as much as any of my other videos. Awesome. Thank you for that. Much love. The most popular Instagram post was a picture of a soul drinker, Primaris Captain in Gravis armor that I painted while in a paint jam with Sam Lenz, Tom Ailes, and Jeff Bowden. And I'll probably never finish it, and that's kind of sad. But it's so shocking that it's a Space Marine. The Space Marine post is the most popular. <laughs> That was my best Home Alone impression. The most viewed Twitch clip was an incredibly precise one. That and the tweezer porn. Mm. Mmm, girl. Mmm. Oh, look at that fucking precision, dude. Okay, that's enough of that. Absolute gold. And the most liked Facebook post was uh, a post of my new set that you can see behind me right here. And that actually makes me really excited that you guys are excited about this stuff, it's like an excitation feedback loop. What was I able to finish painting in 2017? Well, I think I was able to finish a, a decent amount of miniatures. I finished an entry for Crystal Brush called Forgotten Paths. If you wanna see a series about this, please click on the I in the top right-hand corner. I finished all the heroes, plus a bonus one from The Others game by Cool Many or Not. A few Guild Ball miniatures, Graves, Ghast, and Dirge. Aura from Black Sun Miniatures. All of these Wood Elves, which equal 10 Glade Guard, 10 Eternal Guard, 6 Way Watchers, 5 Wild Riders, a Way Strider, a Way Watcher Lord, a Nomad Prince, and a Spell Weaver. A Blood Angel Primary Space Marine, a Nurgle Chaos Space Marine, this Infinity Dude, this Malifaux Dude, a Dark Eldar Witch for my Shadow War Armageddon team. And also, hopefully, by the time of this video being released, I'll have a Hellboy bust finished. Uh, because it's a present for my mom for Christmas. So I better have it done by the end of the year-ish. In celebration of this channel hitting over 20,000 subs and also over 1,000 uh, followers on my Twitch channel, I'd like to give away a sweet bust from Nico Galaxy called the Sea Girl. This bust is awesome in terms of an art sense that has all kinds of different materials for you to practice on. Metal, leather, cloth, skin tones. It's got everything. It's all bottled in this super cool cyborg chick thing like straight out of Blade Runner or a really cool post-apocalyptic sci-fi universe. So if you want to win this miniature, comment below. What should, what should we comment about? Comment below with your favorite project that you finished painting in 2017. Thanks for checking out my somewhat of a cop out video, guys. The channel has gone through an immense amount of growth and I really, really owe it all to you guys. And also just the channel then kind of motivates me to get more things painted so I finish more things and I'm staying focused. And it's actually great because that was the original intent of the channel. So it's really cool to see that kind of paying off. When motivation came, I could write it and use it, but when motivation left, I needed to have some kind of established routine that I could follow day to day. That's the idea of this YouTube channel. Enough about the channel though, let's check out a mini person's model. Frank? Frank Leipner? What you got, Frank? What you got, Frank? Oh, Frank's got a little tyranid. Pretty classic color scheme for the tyranid. You got the purple armor. I don't know what it's called, carapace armor? I don't know what it's called. Purple, we got the fleshy membrane of the wings and you got that bone white color. Pretty sick, pretty nice little backdrop you got there for the uh, 
the photo. I kind of like how you have a lot of pastel colors going on. You have that bone color, you have that flesh color, you kind of have that almost a little bit fluorescent pink red color, the kind of neon purple color. You have this very kind of like, almost like 80s color scheme vibe going on and I dig it, I dig it, man. Pretty sweet, thank you for the submission, Frank. Keep painting minis, you're awesome. Let's think of some motivational thing to say. Hmm. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Thank you for a wildly successful 2017. Even though I wasn't making that many videos, you guys shared my stuff around like a disease. And it grew more than I thought it would. And that's phenomenal. Crusher, Crusher, I'm trying to record video here. What was I saying? Thank you guys for making this channel the success that it is. I really do owe a very, very large amount of that success to you guys. And I, this like, it's a kind of gratitude that I just really can't express fully what, what I feel. So all I can do is just keep saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But more important than the channel and the growth and the accomplishments we made, don't forget to pay my minutes. Thank you.